So this guy comes up to me and says, what's the vision? What's the big idea? I open my mouth and words come out like this. The vision? The vision is Jesus, obsessively, dangerously, undeniably Jesus. The vision is an army of young people. You see bones, I see an army, and they are free from materialism. They laugh at 9 to 5 little prisons. They can eat caviar on Monday and crusts on Tuesday. They wouldn't even notice. They know the meaning of the matrix, the way the West was won. They are mobile like the wind. They belong to the nations. They need no passport. What is the vision? The vision is holiness that hurts the eyes. It makes children laugh and adults angry. It gave up of the game of minimum integrity long ago to reach for the stars. It scores the good and strains for the best. It is dangerously pure. Lights flickers from every secret motive, every private conversation. It loves people away from their suicide leaps, their Satan games. This is an army that will lay down its life for the cause. A million times a day its soldiers choose to lose that they might one day win the great well done of faithful sons and daughters. Such heroes are as radical on Monday morning as Sunday night. They don't need fame from names. Instead, they grin quietly upwards and hear the crowds chanting again and again, Come on! This is the sound of the underground, the whisper of history in the making. Foundations shaken, revolutionaries dreaming once again. Mystery is scheming in whispers, conspiracy is grieving. This is the sound of the underground, and the army is disciplined. Young people who beat their bodies into submission. Every soldier who takes a bullet for his combat at arms. A tattoo on their back boasts, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Sacrifice fuels the fire of victory in their upward eyes. Winners, martyrs, who can stop them? Can hormones hold them back? Can fear succeed? Can fear scare them or death kill them? And the generation prays like a dying man, with groans beyond talking, with warrior cries, tears, and with great barrel loads of laughter, watching, waiting. 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Whatever it takes they will give. Breaking the rules, shaking mediocrity through its cosy little hide. Laying down their rights and their precious surrounds. Laughing at labels, fasting, eventuals. The advertising cannot mould them. Hollywood cannot hold them. Peer pressure is powerless to shake their resolve as late night parties before the cockroach cries. They are incredibly cold, dangerously attractive inside. On the outside, they hardly care. They wear clothes like costumes to communicate and celebrate, but never to hide. Will they surrender their image order of reality? Will they lay down their lives? Swap seats with the man on death row, guilty as anything, a throne from an electric chair. With blood, sweat and many tears, with sleepless nights and fruitless days, they pray as if it all depends on God and live as it all depends on them. Their DNA chooses Jesus. He breathes out, they breathe in. Their subconscious sings. They had a blood transfusion with Jesus. Their words make demons scream in shopping centers. Don't you hear them coming? Herald the weirdos? Summon the losers and the freaks? Here come the frightened and forgotten with fire in their eyes. They walk tall and trees applaud them. Skyscrapers bow, mountains are dwarfed by these children of our dimension. Their prayers summon the house of heaven and invoke the ancient dream of Eden. And this vision will be, it will come to pass, it will come easily, it will come soon. How do I know? Because this is the longing of creation itself, the groaning of the spirit, the very dream of God. My tomorrow is his today, my distant hope is his 3D. My feeble, whispered, faithless prayer invokes a thunderous, resounding, bone-shaking, great Amen. From countless angels, from heroes of the faith, from Christ himself, and he is the original dreamer, the ultimate winner, guaranteed.